Hey class, Mrs. Gilling here doing your unit two video assignment about a project you've got coming up. But before we talk about that, let's do the joke of the unit. All right, friend number one, I wish I had born 1,000 years ago. Friend number two, why? Friend number one, just think of the history. I wouldn't have to learn. Because, <laughs> you know, if you hadn't happened yet, you wouldn't have to learn it. <laughs> All right, well, hopefully you enjoy the history you're learning in this class. Let's talk about your project. So for this project, you're going to have a few different options. So this project will allow you to take a topic you learned about briefly in the first unit, study it further, and share your new understanding in a five-paragraph essay or a slideshow presentation. Your project will be submitted at the end of unit two. Here are the two prompts you can choose from. So prompt number one, how did the economic, political, and social life of America today compare to the 1920s? And prompt number two, what were three major forms that took place in the progressive era? What led up to them and how do they impact us today? So here are the requirements for each of the different projects you can choose from. So option number one, the essay, here's the, the rubric for that one. So the prompt again is how does the economic, political, and social life of America today compare to the 1920s? So you're going to talk about each of those three things and how those, those things that go on today in our world, what were they like in the 1920s? How were they the same? How were they different? So you'll start with an introduction worth 10 points. You'll have an attention grabber, like an interesting quote, a quote, a quote, a fact, a short story, something like that, something to bring the reader's attention in. Then state your thesis statement, the main point of your essay, and your three main points. An example of this could be the 1920s in America can be, paired to, can be compared to life today. This is true economically, politically, and socially. Then you'll have your body paragraph. Body paragraph number one, I want you to talk about economics. So write a paragraph, at least five sentences, where you explain how economics in the 1920s compare to economics today. So you may want to talk about how they are similar and how they are different. But what is, how do they relate to today? Body paragraph number two, politics, were 20 points. Same thing, right? Five sentences where you talk about how politics compare to today. And body paragraph number three is the same sort of thing. You're going to talk about the social life. How does the social life of the 1920s compare to the social life today? Then you'll have a concluding paragraph worth 10 points where you sum up your essay and you restate your, your thesis statement and your three main points. You do need to do some research for this project. You need to have at least two sources and you need to cite them at the end of your paper in MLA format, and that's worth 10 points. And then you get 10 points for grammar. Make sure you're checking your spelling, your punctuation, your formatting, all that stuff. So option number two, the essay, what were three major reforms that took place in the progressive era? What led up to them, and how do they impact us today? And reforms are really changes. Um, a lot of them are like government changes. Like you may learn about some reforms they made in the food industry to try to make food more sanitary what are what are ways that like the government stepped in to make changes during the progressive era to make things better so what led up to those changes what were the events that happened and then how do those changes impact us today so the introductions were 10 points same kind of idea as the other essay you'll start with your attention grabber state your thesis statement and your three main points so an example of this could be many reforms took place during the progressive era that still impact us today Three of these include, and then list the three reforms that you're going to discuss. Body paragraph number one, you're going to discuss reform number one. So five sentences where you list the reform that took place during the progressive era, explain what led up to it, and how does that impact us today. Body paragraph number two is the same idea, except you're going to talk about the second reform. And then body paragraph number three, same idea, but the third reform. Then you'll have your conclusion, your citations, and then grammar. All right, option number one, if you choose to do the slideshow. So again, this one is how does the economic, political, and social life of America today compare to 1920s? So you'll start with a title slide where you put your name and a good title for the project. Then you'll have an introduction slide worth 10 points. That's where you're going to explain that you're going to compare the economic, political, and social life of America today to the 1920s. Body slide number one worth 20 points. You're going to talk about the economy in body slide number one. A list how... You have, so in this, if you do the slideshow, you have to list how it's similar and how it is different. So on each slide, you're going to have similar and different. So how is the economy similar to the 1920s and how is it different? Body slide number two, you're going to talk about politics. How are they similar to the 1920s and how are they different? And then by slide number three, social life in America. How is it similar and how is it different from the 1920s? 
concluding slides, sum up, sum up your slideshow and restate your three main points. And then you'll also need to do some research if you choose the slideshow. You'll want to include a slide with two citations in MLA format. And then you're graded on overall appearance for the slideshow. So you must pick a fun slideshow theme. You can't just pick a white background and normal font and call it good. I want you to pick a theme to it and then include at least four pictures that are spread out throughout your project. Sometimes students try to put all four pictures at the end. Like that's not as fun to read or watch, right? So spread them out and make them make sense and have fun with that part. So if you choose the second prompt, here's what you'll do. Same idea, just a different prompt. So what were three major reforms that took place in the progressive era? What led up to them and how do they impact us today? Again, start with your title slide, your name, a good title for your project, then do your introduction. It's worth 10 points. I want you to list the three reforms that took place in the progressive era that you are going to discuss. Body slide number one is worth 20 points. This slide should explain the first reform you picked and you need to list what led up to it and then list how it impacts us today. So list the reform, what led up to it, how it impacts us today. I'm looking for all three of those things. Same thing with body slide number two, which you're gonna talk about the second reform. Body slide number three, you're gonna talk about the third reform. And each of those body paragraphs is worth 20 points. And then you'll have your concluding slide where you sum your slideshow up, remind your reader of the three reforms you discussed, your citation slide, and then same thing with overall parents. Pick a theme, include four pictures. So those are your different options. I hope you're excited about being able to you know, choose some things that you want to write about and choose whether to do an essay or a slideshow. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. But thanks so much for watching this video.